Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. Today guys, we're going to be doing a turret tower. Yeah, so we're going to kind of complete off um, all this base defense stuff and everything. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get all this stuff slapped into our inventory super fast. I'm going to show you guys a couple ticks, trips, yeah, tips and tricks. There we go. Um, I just had some issues getting the language out of my mouth. Um, so I'll show you guys a couple things you guys can do. Um, this is one design for the turret tower. Um, I like this one because it's expandable. So this is going to actually be a two-part episode. Um, I'm going to show you the, the basic tower first, and then I'll show you how to expand it in the next episode, uh, which will either be tomorrow or the next day. Uh, it depends on if I get the first episode of the PvP season, the banned one, done or not. So let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Uh, skip all the, the BS um, and get going. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to place a 2 by 2 foundation here. Um, it's going to be metal. I have the exact number of items. This will be the first time I've ever done this. Um, I have extra resources behind me, um, but I've got the exact number of things I need. So you're going to need four foundations. Um, you're going to need one of these ramps. And then um, I want you guys to know that you guys can expand this in any way you want. If you want to put uh, fence foundations down, you can. You can uh, double stack. You can try to honeycomb around these or whatever you want to do. Um, it's totally up to you on this. Um, but basically what you guys want to do is you then want to... Um, place these walls down, um, and as long as you don't misplace them, which is why I'm going to take a couple seconds longer when I place these babies, um, nothing should be too worrisome. You go ahead, you slap all this stuff up here, and basically this is going to be the inside of your turret tower. Um, I will explain why I do it as a 2x2, two two, um, or 2x2 two two and too high. Um, we are going to place a generator in the middle so it's independent. Um, I do it as a 2x2. Two two. Um, reason being is because I don't like one wide towers. Um, because I feel like they're extra fragile, um, and they might not necessarily take out the whole tower. If they take out, you know, the base of just the one base, the whole tower fall. This one, you've got at least a couple extra bases. So if someone does raid you and take out your tower, um, it still stands afterwards. So no big deals. Um, so we're gonna adjust our angle here real quick. Um, I need to grab one of my cross sections, which I don't have on me, of course. Um, so I can place that down. So I'll go ahead and grab one of those real quick. I got it on my Quetzal back here. Um, he's got all my extra stuff that he normally does, as you guys can see. We'll grab him real quick, and we are going to actually need him uh, from when we go on top, so I'll bring him over and have him hang out right here. There we go. All right, we got our little Quetzal platform um, ready to go, because um, basically you guys are going to have to get on top, and I don't like putting ladders up. Uh, it gives people the opportunity to climb up and everything, um, so I try to avoid it. So basically what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to place the generator here in the middle, um, and as we expand it, as I said, I will show you how to expand it, but what you do is you guys want to take a cross section, right? You want to place it down right here in the middle, um, and then you place the generator where, that, wherever you want. Um, anywhere's fine. Um, right there obviously was not what it liked. Um, and then what I like to do is I like to place an outlet on all four corners, or all four ends of the um, intersection. It gives you multiple just in case one of them gets hit for some reason or something. It just kind of keeps the defenses up, as we said. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place our ceilings up here real quick. Um, make sure they're all going the same way, because we all know um, weird ceilings are never a good thing to have. Uh, we'll turn those babies, and there we go. And then we'll go ahead, um, jump on our Quetzal. Uh, put him over here. There he is. We'll go ahead and walk over here. Um, just put him right next. Pretty much you don't want to put him too close. Um, reason being is I'm going to be using giant hash frames to make these towers. So let's hope I can make this jump in one shot. Oh, I missed it. I'll back up just a smidgen. There we go, got it. All right, nice jump. Um, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually place that giant hatch frames um, out here. You've gotta kinda get right to the corner and look down. Um, and you'll see here in a second, and right there you have to place it. If I step forward at all, it's gonna go red really. Um, so you guys gotta be careful where you're standing and just kinda give it a second. Um, the other option is you guys can actually do it this way. I just wanted to show you guys multiple ways to do this. Um, you can place them from the ground. I like to do them from up top because I'm gonna be up there anyhow placing towers. Um, but if you wanna make sure and make it nice and quick and easy to place them. Um, you could do it this way and place the towers just like this. You can place them all, and then what you can do, um, because this is only too high, um, and I like to do the smaller turret towers initially when I'm first on a server. Reason being is when you're um, later in the game, when you're getting stronger and stuff, you can keep expanding them, but initially you just need some small turret towers just to protect yourself. Um, you can walk on these guys, as you guys see, um, and it works out really well. Now, I do want to show you guys a couple things um, before I start placing all these turrets down and all these plant species and everything. Um, you guys can configure this however you see fit. Um, however, I've got my reasons for the way I do it, and I'll explain as I do it. So you guys can place um, your plant species up here if you want to. Let's get it to place up here. you got to get it. you got to get the right spot. Oh, there it is. You guys can see how I can kind of 
get it to flash for a second, you can place it here. You guys can run it all the way over here. You can put one out there if you want to. Um, it can be all the way on the outside. Um, but personally, what I like is I like to be able to put them right here, um, right on the sides on the top. The reason I like to put my plant species here, um, one, you can still navigate around these when you get up here. Um, you can still climb around and everything and you don't have to worry about it, um, especially if you're not putting a ladder on there. Um, but the second reason, which is what I really like about them, um, is because auto turrets are technically lower to the ground, or not, they're not technically, we all know they are lower to the ground, um, and plant species sit a lot higher. So if I'm putting plant species out over here, and I'm standing here, my auto turret's behind me, you're technically creating a void in your de turret defense, um, because they will block the turrets and they can't shoot there, um, so you might lose a couple rounds shooting out of auto turrets. Um, so I like to make sure that I have them um, back here so that they're taller, and then the auto turrets um, can protect the side that they're on. So I've got three on me right now. Um, you guys can put as many turrets as you want out here. Um, what you guys will see here is I start placing these down. They'll start going down. Um, you guys can place them however you want. Um, I like to place all of them kind of on the corners. And then after that, as you see, you guys can see, like you guys can start placing a bunch of turrets in the middle. You can have fun with it. I did fall off. Um, but no biggie, as I said, because we're kind of able to just walk across here real quick. Um, and do it. It's really nice to have a Quetzal for this because you can just walk off of it. If you need to, you can put a ladder on there, no worries. Um, I wouldn't worry too much about that kind of stuff, guys. Um, but I like to have them pointing out um, just like this. I'm trying to get this thing to show up, but sometimes they're they're goofy. And they don't like to show up. Oh, there it is. Let's try to get that baby back to show up. There we go. Um, you can put it in there. You guys can turn them a little bit. I like them facing them outward um, just so that they are attacking outward and they're not attacking inward and everything. It should be pretty simple on uh, there we go. We'll place that one. You can reach those far ones, as I said, from the edge right here. There we go. There's another one. Uh, and there we go. That's another one. So I'm just going to get these turrets up real quick, guys. I'm um, Just so you can kind of see what the tower looks like when it's completed rather than just um, sitting there. There we go. I wanted to get it. Sometimes you have to pull it back and push it forward, and then you can place it down. Uh, and I like to use the uh, giant hatch frames because it gives you the ability to have the turrets out there, um, just like you can use fence foundations and stuff, um, and they have full coverage even pointing downward, so you can't just run up underneath these uh, and kill them. Um, you're going to get hit by a turret somewhere, and it's not going to let you just get in there and, and start wrecking my turrets uh, because there's nothing worse than getting your turrets wrecked on because that's what a common problem I see in PvP is people put their turrets, I'll just show you guys, like right here. You think, oh, I'm going to protect it and everything and it's going to work out great. And then all it takes is someone just to run really quick or use something to sponge it for 10 seconds, uh, take two rounds. Someone else runs up real quick, runs to the edge of your towers. As you guys saw in the end of PvP Season 1, uh, you got to see how that worked. Um, we were able to run up and just basically... Um, I don't want to say wreck their base, but we could just get up there, get underneath them. You're able to, with their turret still active, um, go out. I don't know why this one's being so fussy here for me. There we go. I got it to work now. Let's come back a little bit. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come back to me. There we go. It's being difficult, so we'll just go ahead and place it there. Uh, we don't need to sit here. It doesn't have to be super pretty. And up here and everything. Um, but yeah, as I said, um, then people can just run underneath and just see for your base, and next thing you know, you're just out of everything, and, and it's just it just hurts. It just makes you feel sad, actually, a little bit. Uh, and it's, it's, it's rough, and it's just, yeah, it is the way it is, you know what I mean? It's just, you want to make sure you protect yourself the best way possible. Uh, you can also do spikes on the side. That's also another thing I've seen, but I always try to make my turrets, as I said, pointing off the edges, off catwalks, off ceilings, anything, no matter where you place them, you push them over the edge so that they can cover underneath um, and they're not just stuck on top. So we are going to go ahead, place a couple seeds in here real quick, guys. And I'll just take that back, throw a seed in here, I'll put these plant species up so you guys can see them up and running. You guys can kind of see what I was talking about earlier uh, with the whole the whole not being able to see if I had an auto turret in the middle, what would be happening if I didn't put these in the middle. And we'll just get that last little bit done. Um, these are the Instagrow plant species. As you guys know, we are on Lemur's Playground. Uh, as I do most of my tutorials in here, sometimes I guys so I, I throw in tutorials on my PvP worlds just because it's, it's I just want to show you guys that it's not just something I'm doing. I'm not just making tutorials just to make tutorials so you guys can think, oh, well, he's just doing a mini spawning stuff and you never really do this in real. 
uh, and I wanted to show you guys that I do do it real too. So that's why I said I turned on a couple things. But you guys can kind of see here um, how this works here. I need to grab something out of our little Rex friend out of here. I do need to grab some gasoline so I can turn that generator on for you guys so you guys can see. Also, sometimes if you sink your foundations a little bit, you can do multiple foundations down here too, guys. Don't forget about that. I'll go ahead and close this door real quick. What you can also do is, this is one thing I like about the first level, especially when you're lower level, you don't have a Quetzal with a giant platform or anything. You can actually jump up and actually you can access these inventories and you can change the settings on these if you want to. I can make them on so I can turn all these powers on. You just got to jump up. You can tap the power on those. There we go. There's another one. And I'm, yeah, remember, I'm pretty much jumping from the side too. I'm not even jumping right underneath. So I jump right underneath. Come on. Let's go. Oh, it's going to be difficult, isn't it? Of course. Worst case scenario, though, as I said, uh, you can't get all of them. <laughs> it depends on how you build it. Uh, we're rebuilt in the snow on my PvP one. I was able to get a lot of my turrets on the ground, so I do have a couple things like this. Um, I've done a couple modifications for my specific server settings. Um, however, I did not do it here because it's not as dire. I'm trying to show you guys the basics. You guys got to kind of find out how you want to do them when you're on here. So now the question I've always gotten um, from people is, okay, so I've got this turret tower built up and everything. How am I supposed to get to the middle? Because now all these turrets are on the side. Well, all you got to do is you stand up, you run, you jump, and you aim for the middle of the plant species. Then what you can do is you can walk around here and you can grab all these turrets. And then technically, if you want to, if you're good, you just jump over here and bam, you turn them on. You just aim for those little catwalk spots, and there you go. And you guys can walk around, turn all your turrets on. Um, I'm not going to guys show you the whole video of just me turning on turrets, just to show you guys what's happening. But basically, that's how you guys can do it. You can refill your turrets this way, as long as you don't overpack it. Worst case scenario, as I said, you can just walk a quetzal around and stand right on top of it. You have your buddy helping you out, and you just walk around and just have him turn everything on. You can use calcotheriums, all kinds of stuff, as long as you can stand that. Bears are great for this, because if you have a bear, you can stand right underneath it. And once you get up to the higher level, you can just have your cat, your Quetzal and you can just walk off and everything. But I'm also going to show you guys another couple tricks when we start expanding it. So we'll see you guys on the next episode. I hope you guys are liking and learning some stuff here, um, seeing some different auto turret towers. We'll probably do a couple episodes on auto turret towers and show you different designs. Uh, I'm personally waiting until the vault change happens to show you guys a specific one because um, I want to test something out with the new vaults and see if it works or not so I'll let you guys know how that goes on a different turret design for auto towers specifically so we'll see how that goes but yeah guys um, that's going to do it for this episode I hope you guys are enjoying it. as I said tomorrow's either going to be PvP or the expansion of this tower specifically and we'll take it up another layer and I'll show you guys how to make it so it's accessible uh, and still and everything so we'll have some fun with that I hope you guys are enjoying it and uh, we'll see you guys on the next episode